I bet y'all's were thinking I was memeing when I made that video. And to be honest, I was too. I didn't expect this to be the deal, but it is. They are the exact same weapon. They are going to have the exact same item potential. And that is really going to change up the game for the next month and moving in the future of who's the big dog for weapons. So let's go talk about this new Tenebris series and talk about how you should be augmenting it if you are considering building this new weapon series. And for this test, we are once again going to be using Cakewalk's damage calculator. I will do a quick rundown for this. Be sure if you are using the link down below to get to this calculator to make a copy of this calculator so you can modify these cells. Once you make that copy, you're going to see the calculator look very similar to this. You're going to have a bunch of information on the left side that you can modify. Go ahead and change this to be accurate for your account. And then further down on the left, you are going to have your weapon and your three armors plus all of the augments that are associated with this gear. For this first example, we will be using the Kuklafis Dolls weapon with Fixed Attack 3 as our baseline weapon, and we're going to be using our highest damage build we have in the game, which is an Addy Deft Capsule, Mastery 4, Alt Secret of 4, Boss Soul 4, and a Stat 4 Capsule. This is going to give you a lot of potency and floor potency. We're going to be using that with three Eclair armors as well. And with all of that factored in, you will see a calculator much like I have here. With that Kuklafis series as the baseline, you can see there is a bunch of red cells because that Kuklafis weapon is really strong, especially since we're factoring in it at its strongest, which is attacking into those dolls enemies. We do have some green rows though, especially the gun blaze with full uptime, meaning you are not getting hit. This is still by far one of our strongest weapons we have in the game. But you will see down there, the last two rows, the Tenebris series does have some green cells. This is a very strong weapon series. The Tenebris Normal Ice Plus row is factoring in this Tenebris series looking after the seasonal event when we do not have that seasonal capsule active. So this is the damage you can expect to see on an enemy that is weak to ice regardless of if it is a seasonal enemy or not and you'll see here if you can find a fatal four or five or termina four or five this weapon series is just as strong as that kuklafis attack three now just like the kuklafis weapon if you're not attacking dolls you will see a damage drop off and you can see that here we go from uh, the baseline weapon to negative 5.66 percent compared that would be the same for the tenebra series if you're not fighting into an ice weak enemy so you can expect a little bit more of a drop off if you are not fighting an ice enemy. So as we look into the row with the seasonal capsule being attributed, you can see that every single cell is green because this is going to be by far the strongest weapon we have for the next month. At any rate, what this is showing is that this Tenebra series is a real weapon moving forward. If you can get your hands on a high fixa, Fatal, or Termina, this is a great weapon and you should consider investing into it if you don't already have an 8 star weapon. But here's the deal guys, just because this is the strongest augment build for the Kuklafis series does not mean it's the strongest augment build for that Tenebra series. Since we have an item potential that is increasing our critical hit chance, potency is the most important stat for this weapon series. So let's go ahead and let's modify all of these augments over here to give us the highest potency augment and ignore floor potency wherever we can. And let's see how that changes this damage calculator. Okay, so I just went through and I changed all of the capsules to the 3% capsules that are, that are available in the game. You are able to make a full 3% potency capsule build, and we are using that on the four eclairs plus that baseline weapon. And when we go back over here, you are seeing those numbers go crazy now. But we have a bit of a problem, guys. These numbers do look higher, but we're changing the baseline weapon, that Kuklafis weapon, out of its optimized augments so we're actually seeing these numbers a bit skewed and in a percentile format we don't know if we're actually that much stronger so we need to make our way to the right and actually look at the real damage calculations so we can actually see if these percentages are any stronger than the previous augment build so on the screen i'm showing you what the damage is for that kuklafis weapon and the Tenebris series for both of the augment builds we have been using today 
and you will see there is a significant difference in damage for our baseline weapon, which is the Kuklafis at Fixa Attack 3, and you will also see a difference for the Tenebris series. In fact, the potency and floor potency build using the Mastery, Addy, Deft, and Alt Secreta is stronger. With that being said though, going a pure potency build, you are within 1% of the same damage that that Kuklafis is doing at its optimal level at 640 damage. So, the pure potency build is avoiding a lot of Masetta Sync with these very expensive capsules, so you will see just as strong of damage as the Kuklafis series for any enemy that is weak to ice. So is this weapon worthy of investing into? I say absolutely. If you haven't already grabbed yourself a Kuklafis Fixa Attack 3, if you're still sitting on one of those Obsidia, Kaisars, or a Clean Rugged, this is a hyper damage boost even looking past the seasonal event. If you're somebody who likes to run purple triggers, since this does have that ice element, this is a great weapon to look into as well for that reason too. Being able to slowly build towards ice downs is a huge beneficial for those runs and is going to seriously save you time, not to mention all that crit and that build. Guys, did you see the capsule build I was using? It did not need an Addy Def capsule. It did not need a Mastery 4 capsule. Those are the two most expensive capsules to put on gear, and you do not need them for this build. This is an extremely cost effective build that's going to go pure potency to see some really big ass numbers. So I see a bunch of benefit to building the Tenebris series, especially if you haven't built an 8 star weapon already. Guys, I don't have anything else to say to y'all. Y'all better be going out there and farming for these weapons. Let me know in the comment section down below. How hyped are you for this seasonal event? Now that you know this weapon series is the real deal, it is not a joke. We finally have a seasonal weapon to really go hunt for. Anyways, guys, can't wait to see you all in game. We're going to farm the heck out of this weapon. I'm looking forward to trying to get a tournament of five, and I'll see you all in the next video real soon.